Cain out of mine Friend for all time So glad that you're my best friend Okay, so by now you've probably printed out all the PDFs for the four lessons. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do it. Because what we're going to do is go through lesson one now. So your first page should look something like this. Okay? So the first thing you want to do when you bring the puppy home is, and even beforehand, is you want to be able to look at things from the puppy's perspective. So you want to go in each room of the house and be able to see from ground level up what things the puppy might notice that you might miss. Also remember that they lead with their nose so if there's good smells or things around or you know stuff spilled on a carpet whatever they're going to be attracted to that so you want to make sure that those things are taken care of then the other thing after that is that you want to make sure that you supervise them all the time if they're not in your view or you're able to watch them or they're in the same room with you then the rule of thumb is to keep them in the crate or keep them in a in a pen to keep them safe you want to set them up for success and you want to be proactive about this stuff. So the next part of this is household items that you want to check off and make sure that you've um, done things to make them safe. Okay, so things like trash. You don't want trash cans open and, and stuff lying around that the puppy can get into. Um, medications is another thing. Uh, sometimes they can spill or fall off a, a table or a counter or the dog can get um, the medication bottles, so that's not good. Um, any of your clothing even just laundry and stuff. Puppies will chew on clothes and they can digest things and it could be really bad. So, and the other thing is electrical wires. A lot of people forget about electrical wires because things like the stereo and stuff. The puppies will get behind the stereo and sometimes they'll chew a wire. So what I tell everyone to do is get those plastic pole things that you'd use for like a shower curtain and, um, or even cardboard ones you can use, but you cut them off and you put them around the cords so that the puppy can't get to it. Okay, the other thing is to pay attention to your furniture and decor. Just because things are nailed down does not mean that the puppy's not going to chew them, like baseboards and furniture feet and all that kind of stuff. And then again, when it comes to cleaning supplies, you want to have a non-toxic cleaner. And in here I've actually given you um, a recipe for a really cheap non-toxic cleaner that you can make at home with very few things. So it's good to have one in every room when you first bring the puppy home and make sure you also have cloths available. So the other thing that you want to watch out for is house plants. And in the list here, I've given you a list in the PDF of 10 house plants that are considered poisonous for the dogs. So I want you to look through that and make sure that you don't have anything at the dog's level. Um, things like artificial sweeteners are bad for dogs and everybody likes to give their dog peanut butter. 
Most dogs like it. But if you watch the labels on peanut butter now, a lot of them have xylitol for a sweetener. So you, you want to make sure it's either all natural or there's no sweeteners in it. So you want to set up a safe zone. So you want to have a place in a room, whether it's baby gated or it's a pen, where you know you can put the puppy and they're not going to get into anything if you have to, you know, be apart for a little bit. Um, things like your garage. Some people use their garage for um, crating the puppy and things. So you want to make sure that everything in your garage is cleaned up and especially things like windshield washer fluid. That stuff is deadly to dogs and it's very sweet. So they will drink it if it's there. If you spill something like that, you want to make sure you flush it out with lots of water. And then in your front and backyard, before you let your dog in and out of the house into the backyard, if it's fenced, you want to check to make sure there's no holes in the fence, they can't dig underneath it, and especially at night, you want to make sure that there's, you look first to find out that there's no like raccoons or skunks or anything out there that they could get into trouble with. So that's the, that's the first things you want to do before the puppy comes home is get all that set up. And then the other thing is that you want to understand how food works for puppies because not all people food is good for puppies. So I've also left you in here, there's a list you can go through of all the people food that you should definitely avoid and not let your puppy get. And then after that, we're looking at um, things like sidewalk conditions. So with the sidewalk, especially if you have winters and they salt the streets, that can be very hard on puppy pads or even dogs pads in general. Okay, so they're, they will burn and it will, uh, it will make it uncomfortable for them. So this is where you might have to look at investing in boots. I've got the recipe for the homemade cleaner here in the last page of the first section. So you can have a look at that and there's a section for you to make notes. So that's the end of the first lesson.